is absolutely quality, isn't it? And I couldn't decide when it came out from Mr. Cam which um, favourite book that I was wanting to talk about. I couldn't decide. So I went through a non fiction and a fiction. So I'll start with the non fiction first. This book is a, an autobiography, a sports autobiography, um, and it's about Stephen Henry, the snooker player. But when I used to play cricket, I never bothered with snooker. I wasn't interested in it at all. And then since retiring from cricket, I've started getting into it. But I'm the world's worst player. So I approached this book thinking, because this man had won the world championship seven times, I thought I'd be in a position to learn how to be a better snooker player. But I didn't. It was an autobiography, so it told me his life story. As a result of that, though, I got into it, and why it's one of my favourites is it gave me an understanding why he won the World Championship seven times. And it's through hard work, it's through resilience, it's through practice, and it's through him doing things and putting his career and his ambitions and his aspirations at the forefront of his life and not getting sidetracked with any silliness. The other thing that he did was he, he made sure that he had high expectations of himself and didn't get distracted. So that is my favourite non-fiction book. And my favourite fiction book, just quickly, is The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis. And this, you can see it's well, well um, read and thumbed through. This was a book that I used to read a long, long time ago and then have revisited with a friend. Um, and we've read it at the same time. And the problem is, when you read with a friend, sometimes you want to have a race to see who finishes it um, first. But when I read it with my friend, he was saying, well, what about this? What about that? So we started reading it at the same time. And as a result, I got to know more about the story than um, I would have done if I'd read it on my own. So that was it. In essence, this is about... Um, a lion, a witch and a wardrobe and it's a magical uh, land called Narnia and I'm not going to tell you anything about it because I would hope that you can go and read it yourself. Enjoy World Book Day everyone, catch you later. Hi everyone, my favourite book is Of Mice and Men. I studied this in my GCSEs and absolutely fell in love with the book. It was the first time I felt really attached to the characters and got upset when bad things happened to them. And still to this day, it's my favourite book and I've even been to see the play and watch the film. I enjoyed it so much. My favourite book is called Anne of Green Gables. There it is, a very old, battered copy. Um, it's a, the tale of an orphan girl from Canada who gets adopted by a brother and sister and how she uh, becomes very dear to them and very dear to all of her friends and um, sort of adopted family on the island of Prince Edward Island it's called in Canada and it's a very sort of beautiful setting as well it's described very beautifully. Um, I first read it when I was about 10 I think and I just completely fell in love with the story um, and with the characters and how it transported me to a completely different place. I also love the fact that Anne overcomes adversity and um, starts off as quite a tragic character really but manages to stay positive throughout um, and ends up um, having a really lovely life. It's a great book. My favourite book has to be Wuthering Heights. It's the most wonderful love story between two people called Catherine and Heathcliff. From the minute that you start to read this book you cannot put it down. All you want them to do is to fall in love and yet it never happens. It ends in tragedy. They drive themselves crazy because they love each other so much. The key question that you keep asking yourself is, do I love or do I hate Heathcliff? And it's like being on a roller coaster. You change your emotions as you get reading in different parts of the book. I also love its natural setting, the Yorkshire Moors. Rugged but beautiful. And this is used a lot in the descriptions in the book to emphasise the emotions between Catherine and Heathcliff. And finally, it produced one of the best songs ever by Kate Bush, and that can only be a good thing. Hi everyone, happy World Book Day. Uh, this is my favourite book, so it's The Adventures of Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. This book has actually been in my family about three or four generations now. 
Um, but it was the best book to grow up with. It's got everything you could think of. It's got adventures, knife fights, buried treasure. It's got goodies and baddies and everything in between. And I love it. The book I've chosen is Mistakes in the Background by Laura Dockrill. I bought this when I was a teenager, um, over 10 years ago, and I have had it ever since. I've never met anyone else that's read this book or seen it before. Um, it was a really random purchase. Nobody recommended it to me. I just saw it in a bookshop and loved it. I had never bought a book of poems before. I thought poems were old and stuffy, and this really showed me that poems can be strange and funny and interesting. Uh, the book itself is mixed media, so there are pictures and there are post-it notes, there are photographs, there's different textures. It's just a really cool and interesting book that I've kept with me and um, and will have hopefully forever. Everybody and happy World Book Day. So this is my favourite book. It's called Bounce by Matthew Side and it says on the front the myth of talent and the power of practice. So it kind of goes into how success um, is a result of thousands of hours of purposeful practice and it's not that innate talent that you are born with um, that makes you achieve success. If And I think if we believe that attaining excellence hinges on talent, um, we're likely to give up if we show insufficient early promise. Um, it kind of goes into and delves into that expert knowledge comes from experience and that if you want to excel at anything in life, you have to embrace failure and understand that nothing is ever fixed. And it's kind of that adaptation of a, of a growth mindset. So you're not born bad at maths. Um, you don't, you're not necessarily don't have a maths brain or you can't do sport. Um, everything can be improved on and built on and success could be achieved if you're willing to put in the practice to achieve the success that you wanted to have. Um, and I think that it's such a great book for anyone who believes that they can't do something or they want to be better at something, but they think that it's, it's not possible. Anything is possible if you put in the work and failure is often um, just the road to success. It's an amazing book. Have a read. It's great. And have a most, the most wonderful World Book Day. Happy World Book Day, everyone. My recommendation is Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl. Um, this is actually a Holocaust survivor's story. Um, and it tells um, the reader about his experience um, in Auschwitz and his struggle for survival. Um, obviously, it's a history book, but also it's so much more than that. It's a story of hope. It's a story of resilience. Um, and it tells us a lot about how um, we can kind of overcome, overcome even the most difficult obstacles. Um, you know, it talks a lot about how his faith um, and his kind of inner strength is what meant that he survived um, the most horrific experience and the most horrendous circumstances. So yes, it's a history book, but it's so much more than that. It's um, an inspiration um, and also kind of a, um, an example for how we can overcome some of the struggles that we face in everyday life. So um, yeah, read it and have a great World Book Day. Hi, my name's Miss Morehouse. I'm an English teacher at Beckford Upper Heaton. Um, my favourite writer, my favourite book is um, The Lord of the Rings by J.I.R. Tolkien. I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan. I have been since I was around about seven years old. Reason for this? My dad read to me. My dad read me The Lord of the Rings when I was seven. It took us a full year to read it together, but it was one of the things I really looked forward to was him reading the story to me every night. Sometimes he read to me, other times he didn't because he was a policeman, so he was often um, at work. But when he was at home, he would always read The Lord of the Rings to me. The reason I love the book? Well, it just takes you into a completely different world of Middle Earth. It transported me there. I absolutely loved it. I used to draw the scenes and the characters from it. I can, I've got a portfolio full of the drawings I did as a child. And it really ignited in me a love of language. And I particularly love the descriptive writing that he does when he's describing setting, when he gives us insight into character. And at the time, I, I can remember when I was around about 13 or 14, I had a huge crush on the character of Aragorn. <laughs> he was my ideal man. He was a hero. <laughs> and over the years, I reread the book every year. I must have read it over 30 times. 
and I just love it. It's absolutely my favourite. And if I ever want to escape when things are feeling a little bit rough and I've really had enough, I just dip into a section of The Lord of the Rings and I'm back where I was when I was seven years old with my dad. So there you go. Lord of the Rings, fantastic book. One of those things that you have to do in life is read it. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. Um, so my favourite book, I couldn't choose. Um, so I've kind of cheated and I've picked an author and a set of books. So my favourite set of books are by P.G. Woodhouse and his Jeeves and Worcester books. So there's loads of them. They're really short for a book. They're really, really funny and they have got excellent use of the English language. Um, he's really concise and to the point he doesn't mess about they've all got a very similar structure um, so the comedy is quite obvious and almost slapstick in a kind of book form um, but yeah they're hilarious and I love them and once you start reading Worcesters, Jeeves and Worcesters it's pretty tough to go back to reading everything else because it just seems dull and boring and too faffy and long in comparison. So these are my favourite books by a long way now. Thanks. Bye. Hi, my favourite books are children's books. So I love to read uh, books and stories with my own children. And some of them have been my favourites since I was young. But some of them are ones that I've discovered since I've started reading them to my own children. And some of my favourite books are by the author Julia Donaldson. And she's written lots and lots of really, really interesting stories that take you to all kinds of magical different places. And one of my favourite is The Gruffalo. So The Gruffalo is all about The Gruffalo and a mouse who took a stroll into the deep dark wood and we read these stories every night and I enjoy them as well as them being great fun for the children. When I was younger I used to love reading Roald Dahl books things like George's Marvelous Medicine, The Twits, Matilda and of course the BFG like I have here. I think Roald Dahl created a world that you were able to escape to with all his wonderful descriptions and that's why I loved them. These days, I prefer non-fiction books, so things like learning about how the mind works, learning about our history. I love reading a book and knowing that at the end of it I've learned something new. My favourite book is Terry Pratchett's Nation. It starts with the end of the world and then it asks what happens next. How do people go on? And the story involves sharks and angry drunk birds. It involves the god of death. It involves two teenagers figuring their way out through the end of the world. And a lot of science. It's got a real warmth to it, a lot of humanity. And it reminds me that when times are hard, you know, to look to my friends, to look to the people around me, and to look to what I believe in to keep me going. It's like a hug in book form and that's why it's my very favorite book hello everyone it is world book day and i am going to tell you about my favorite book and i would love to tell you that it was something really really highbrow and sophisticated and piece of uh, one of the classics but well i think it is a classic anyway it's this book here it's lost its cover because i've had it for so long it is the lord of the rings now, I am a massive, massive nerd, and this book is basically what started it. I read it as a teenager. It's a thousand pages long. It is the book that made me love reading. Um, I couldn't stop reading it from the first page onwards. It's one that I would just sort of lose myself in the whole time. And I love any book that is about a completely perfectly realized other world with loads of different rules and strange things and creatures and 
J.R.R. Tolkien, who wrote this, um, invented entirely new languages to go in this world, which is just a level of dedication that I don't think I can commit to. Um, it is absolutely my favourite book. It's got um, so many brilliant ideas in it and without the story in this book a lot of the things we take for granted in popular culture wouldn't exist either so without lord of the rings there's no star wars there's no harry potter there's um none of the marvel films the whole idea of uh, you know somebody unlikely becoming a massive hero uh it's popularized by what tolkien was writing in this book so if you like magic and fantasy and huge battles and twists and turns and big long adventures with just just brilliant characters then this is it okay so thank you guys i'm a nerd happy to be happy world book day